Hey guys, uh, Thunder E here. This is a different style video. We're comparing the DJI Osmo Action versus the GoPro 7 Black and checking out how they actually function in the city, walking around, um, and looking at some of the cool features we can do with both cameras. So let's go ahead and have some fun. So it's interesting using these two microphones in the city. Well, cameras. You know how it is. Time for us to catch an Uber back. All right, so taking a look at the DJI Osmo Action. Uh, it looks like a standard action camera, but it's got a front facing display, which is pretty nice. So you can swap that from the front to the back display anytime, either first by holding this button on the side, you hear that swish sound that switches you to the front or you can hold it back again switch to the back or you can go ahead and double tap the front uh, the rear display switches it over or double tap again and boom you have that so that is uh something that's pretty nice and interesting you've got your record button on the top the display button and uh here this houses your Oops, Ooh. here you've got your um, USB type C and uh, SD card slot. And then you can actually swap out the, uh, basically your lenses here to put in ND filters, uh, things like that, probably different lenses in the future, which is pretty cool. It also acts as a heat sink. Now, taking a look at the display and some of the menu functions, if you swipe up from the bottom, you can go ahead and change your resolution. You can go 4K all the way to 4K 60. Uh, you can even go down to 720p. And then you could go 4K 30 at uh, 30 frames per second. Rocksteady is not available, which is basically the super steady mode on here. Now, if you want to go ahead and try different modes with this, if I switch this up over here, we've got our um, preview mode. So you can actually preview what you've actually recorded. If we swipe from the right, you can see your auto settings. You can go into manual if you want to do some manual uh, shutter speeds and recording and things like that. If we pull back up here, if you want to go into, say, uh, slow-mo, you can go into 1080p, and then we can push this all the way to 240 frames per second, 200, 120. Uh, you can see Rocksteady is not available again at those resolutions. Now, pulling down from the top gives us like a quick menu access area, um, you know, brightness of your display. You can do create custom modes. 
you can screen unlock, unlock the screen, and then you've got your main settings here for voice control, wireless connections, all that kind of stuff. Very easy to use and easy to navigate in terms of the display menu. So I do like that about it, and it is pretty straightforward. All right, so here is our GoPro Hero 7 Black. Now, the first thing you notice is it's got that standard GoPro look. You've got your lens in the front. You've got an indicator showing that I'm going to be recording at 4K 30, um, what my battery life is. There is no front display like the um, uh, DJI Osmo Action. But on the side, you do have your power button and your mode button, uh, record mode buttons on the top. Left hand side, of course, you can open up. Uh, you've got your uh, uh, SD, your USB Type C bay, and then below here is your battery and SD card. Now, looking at your display, display gives you a couple of things. You can see recording on 4K 30. If we tap on that, we can change our recording. We've got stabilization on. Uh, it's a wide angle lens, low light, not applicable at that. But we can go ahead and swap this and go 4K 30 tap on here and go into 4k 60 um, if we want to and we can also go into slow-mo if we want to go do that we can go 1080p and then we tap on this and we go to 240 frames per second again you can do all that which is pretty nice um, then you've got the ability to swipe up and see what you previously recorded. So I was recording the uh, Osmo Action. So you guys know I'm using each camera to record each one. Uh, and then we swipe down from the top. That gives you our settings. We can go in and check in our preferences, connections, voice controls, all that. Again, simple and very easy to use and navigate. And if you swipe from the right, um, if you swipe from the right, it gives you options to go to photo, um, you can go into video, swipe again, and swipe. So you can kind of swipe through each section you want from photo, video, and then time lapse. Go. So the first thing you notice from these videos is that the uh, Hero 7 Black has just better stabilization than what DJ has to offer. Now, the stabilization on the uh, Osmo Action is really good, but you can notice my cadence in walking as opposed to DJI, which should reach brand really smooth. I free held both devices, so there was nothing uh, shady there in a sense. Now, when it comes to colors, I like the colors of the Osmo Action. It's more natural, more, more close to my skin tone at that time of the day, as opposed to the extra saturation I'm seeing on the Hero 7 Black. Now, DJI also has a really good microphone. You'd hear each time that I spoke using the DJI um, um, Osmo Action, the microphone was really clear, sharp, and straight to the point. I like that about it. Plus, you do have the fact that the DJI Osmo Action has a front display. Nothing beats that front display in my mind in the sense that it helps you just gauge what you're trying to record, especially if you're vlogging or if you're on a vacation trip, you're trying to take a, uh, a photo with that. It makes a whole lot of sense. Now, when it comes to high dynamic range, I give that edge to uh, the uh, Osmo 7 Black. But when you look at everything together and you go, look, the Osmo 7 Black, at least that's what it's nine. DJ's, um, uh, sorry, the, the Hero 7 Black, I apologize retails for $399 while the uh, Osmo Action right here retails for $349. There is a very good proposition for you but you have to gauge what you're looking at. Now DJ has a ton of accessories or tied to the you can actually use with this as well. I do like the MD filters uh, they can easily swap out and the fact that you know you've got all the you know the IPX ratings and all that fun stuff that you expect with an action camera like this. So there you have it guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video with a very different style of video and just give you an idea of what the Osmo Action can do, especially in comparison to something like the GoPro Hero 7 Black. If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and...